okay, YouTube viewers. First, you gotta soak your corn for about an hour or two in cold water. That way, it'll keep it nice and moist. It won't burn. Alright, first thing you're gonna need a stick of butter, lightly salted, I prefer. Next, you're gonna need some minced garlic. I like to use about a heaping teaspoon, maybe a tablespoon. Then you're going to need some chili powder, only a half a teaspoon. Last, you're going to need some organic maple syrup. I like to use at least two teaspoons, or tablespoons, maybe a little more. Now's a good time to get your grill going. I like to use charcoal to give you kind of that uh, smoked remains taste. Alright, now you're going to take two teaspoons of your organic maple syrup. Don't mind if you get a little more than that. No big deal. Mix it up really good. Just stare at my arm here for a minute while I do so. Make sure you mix it up really good. Yeah, that looks nice. Yeah. Alright, now you're going to take a teaspoon of chili powder. Just a half a teaspoon. Don't use more. Okay. Make sure you mix this up really good, too. You can stare at my arm for a minute while I do it. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Yep. There my arm. Alright. Now I'm going to take a teaspoon of garlic. You can put a little more, a little less. Whatever you like. I don't really care. Mix that up pretty good. Yeah, it looks delicious, doesn't it? There. That's it. Your sauce is ready. Alright, now you're going to take your cob. I like to use the word cob because it annoys people. And I kind of like to annoy people. Anyway, you're going to take your cob, pull down the husks, and you're going to take some of this stuff here, get a nice big spoonful, lubricate that bad boy up. Yeah, spread it all over the shaft of the corn. Yeah, just like that. Spread it all around. Don't miss any spots. Yeah, look at that. Looks awesome. Now rewrap the corn. Try to make sure that there's no bare spots with the corn exposed. White coals. Just what you want. Alright. We'll take your cob. All nice and protected. Put it on the grill. It's pretty simple. I shouldn't really have to explain this to you. But anyway, just put them on the grill. There. Just like that. Now cover your grill. Let them sit there. Eh, until they look like that. Probably going to take about 10, 15 minutes if you got the temperature the right way. They should have a nice, you know, some nice char marks on there. Nice little golden look to them. Flip them over and set them there for the same amount of time. Okay, once they're done, peel them back, put some more of this stuff on there. It should melt pretty quick, make it nice and lathery, that's it. You should be all set, ready to eat. So, enjoy your cobs. <laughs>